Can you see my screen? I'm, uh, not yet. You see the the green screen, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Almost time. I got um quite some uh, assignment from you guys. Very good. You guys, the writing part actually, both pronunciation and writing, the progress and really good, especially the writing. Some of the writing is, looks beautiful. Actually, practice writing from the beginning, uh, you, you may feel difficult. But actually, it's, it's going to uh, reinforce your memory of the picture. You, you don't need to remember the picture. When we, when we teach in the class how it evolved from a picture to a character, uh, that helps you to understand the meaning, too. And when you write, remember, always s speak loud. At least you can hear it. Tian, di, shang, xia. Do that. Make the three things together. Three, your know, three unity together. Uh, there is a meaning behind it. So just, just practice it. Or whenever you, you don't need to write on the paper. Write on your palm. You know, your hand. Well, one second, two second, five second. And write one or two capital. And forget it. Yeah, that's a you 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 tell it's a very small fraction of time to do it. Okay, practice it. Okay, uh, uh, let's start it. Uh, from last uh, period, uh, the um, your assignment, 作业, assignment, 小节 means summarize. Yeah, you don't need to, I just speak more and more Chinese, right? 作业 is the assignment, 小节, little summary, right? 小 is a little summary, 节, or a knot, put it together, okay? Pronunciation, this is general, uh, needed to improve. S of, uh, versus uh, SH. When you uh, practice uh, San, San, number three, San, you can close your teeth or almost touch. So this is upper, this is lower teeth. You can almost touch or touch. Then San, San, San touch your teeth. San, San. Yeah, for San. this one, mountain, Shan. Your tongue rolled up a little bit, but your teeth is not close. Shan, you, you yeah, shan. Shan, 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 shan. You got it? Shan, yeah, shan, you, you, you can uh, differ from your, your ear. And Number three, shan, shan, mountain. Shan, shan, yeah, tongue rolls up a little bit, not too much. Yeah, okay, good. It. This is, is, you got it, right? The similar thing. Here, Z and ZH. Uh, morning. Close it. Sao. When you, when you program in the open up. Or almost touch. Or touch. That, that doesn't matter. But almost touch. Sao. 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 Good. Like walking. Walk. Sao. Sao. So, so you start from a touch, then you you want to you want to pronounce a chow. When you pronounce chow, your tongue rolls up, and also you you if you close up your uh, your teeth up and lower, you cannot pronounce chow. You know, chow is hard. Yeah, and uh, yeah, chow, chow, Okay, the pronounce the H. Roll up uh, your tongue a little bit. Chow. So it's walking. Chow is elbow. Chow. 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 Chow, chow is different. Chow, chow, and chow. Try to differentiate. This. And uh, for writing part, for example, a human or man, <laughs> you want to have a H to it. Na, H. This is the H. This is the H. But for for hung, we have a blonde end. Su, you have a blonde end. There's two ways of su, blonde end or with the edge. Uh, but uh, this is this is not a good example. Yeah, or you have a, push it back. 
push it back. But for piano, always as an edge, just like a just like a knife. K N I F. Tian. Has an edge. Has an edge. Right. Got it. You understand what I'm saying or not? You guys okay? Okay, cool. This is uh, from the last uh, period of the assignment, uh, the 作业. Then you want to practice combination. Now we learn more and more character. You want to combine them. Like for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 1 to 9, 999. 1月 means 1 month or January. 2月 means February or 2 months. Right, you combine this, and Tian, one day, two day, 一天,两天,三天, how to say 15 days, 十五天, yeah, for one year, it's one, 600, uh, 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 365 days. 365天. So you want to do all this again, right? To, to try to come, do the combination. At the same time, one day you can say 一天. Or you can say 一日. It's the same thing because the only during the daytime you can see the sun. Or 365天. That's 365 days a year. You can also say 三百六十五日。See, we was expanding, speeding up. You just do all this game practice. Yeah, uh, uh, you just combine the numbers with 天, with 月, with 日. Then you, you, you can have so many, right? Then you go, uh, 1080 days. 一千零, 一千八十天. Okay. 1900. And 80 days, 1980天, or 1980日, right? Yeah, do all this combination. Try, try to practice this in, in your mind, or say it aloud, or even you can write it out in the write it out and say it. It's very, uh, it's very important to to practice. You know, now we're starting to speed up to expand it. Like uh, do um, by pair, morning or a.m. Sun. Here, can you see it? I'm drawing it. Afternoon, after twelve, afternoon. Xiao, sun, xiao, sun, hao, xiao, hao. Right? You do all this practice. Or another way to say it, um, it's different. Zhao shang means usually zhao shang is uh, before nine o'clock. Okay, it's all song. Uh -huh. After, after, uh, after, say, uh, dinner, you can say, 晚上. 早上, 晚上. 上 is fourth tone. 早, third tone. 晚, first, uh, third tone. 早上, 晚上. You add a 好, this is good morning, good evening. 早上好, 晚上好, right? Okay, uh, uh, like, do another combination. Like we learn the Tian sky or heaven. Up in the sky, Tian Shang. One means the Di Shang. On the ground, on the ground, on the land, Di Shang. Tian Xia, under the sky or under the heaven, Tian Xia. Xia is down, right? You guys follow me? Okay. 地下 is different. 地下 means underground. 地上 is underground. This 地下 is underground. So you do all the combination and you practice. Then uh, you can do it uh, uh, um, uh, in your uh, assignment. Be creative with your assignment. Besides whatever we, we teach the new character writing and pronunciation. You say, okay, uh, here is what I want to say. 天上. Uh, 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 what I want to say in the sky, uh, 天上, on the ground, 地上, under the ground, 地下. So you, you have all this combination coming up, uh, like a sensory. 
Sanshui usually in, in Chinese means, you, you can see the from uh, the character, mountain and water. Whenever you got that uh, general meaning of this two things together, two characters together, it means scenery. You see, go out for a tour, go out for uh, travel, you see beautiful mountain, beautiful water. Sanshui means scenery. Scenery, okay. Human, scenery, yeah. Human heart. Ren xin, human heart. Tian xin, tian xin means the divine. Divine has also have heart, right? Tian xin. Di xin is different. Di xin means the, uh, how to say di xin? Uh, uh, underground, center of the earth. Di xin, center. Xin also, xin also have a meaning as a center. Okay, that's good, right? Uh, don't get overwhelmed. I, I'm just giving you some example of this. So you can do whatever combination. Play with it. Just for fun. Okay, no stress. <laughs> no obligation. Okay, oh, I, I, you do different combination. You, 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 okay. We, we say for, this is underground, di xia. What meaning of a xia di? Means you go from top to the bottom. You can use this to describe. Tian shang, tian shang, uh, tian shang. Right in here, tian shang means up in the sky or in up in the heaven. If you reverse it, shang tian, I'm taking the airplane, getting into the sky, shang tian, or I'm going back to the heaven, shang tian too. So you diff same character, you do a different combination. You take a guess. At what does it mean? Yeah. Then you can you can you, you can record it in your assignment. Say so, what does it mean? And now, yeah, sorry, that's good. Oh, maybe different. I need a little bit, a little bit of adjustment or a correction. That's the way to learn. Don't be afraid to make some mistake or a, a funny mistake. Making mistake is always the first steps to learn. Then because you 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 remember that. Very clear. Oh, this is the way. That is the way. Just for fun, play for fun, right? Okay. Uh, all right. Let's move on. Here is the uh, we show you the picture. Last time. Can, look, Jian, right? Still remember? It's a big eye, and there's a man here. This is a hand. Put. Up your, up your uh, eye. This is eye, right? This can you look, but you see it. You see it. That uh, character when the single radical when, and uh, compound is called zi, right? When zi. If you don't need to try to uh, try to use your imagination, that's one very fundamental principle. Another. If you can mimic in the class or you watch the video, you can mimic the pronunciation uh, with your mouth and listening your ear, uh, listening and hear from the ear. You don't, you can ignore the pinyin. Just get this, this tone, the tone right. Yeah. Use your gift when you are born. Which means you can hear, you can listen, you can hear, you can you can pronounce. Yeah, this P is just a tool. If you don't need to use it, don't use it. That means re revive, revive your bone quality, your the all of uh, the uh, capability you come with. Okay, try to use that. I just can, jian, wen. Ignore this. No wen, zi. Right. Okay. Jack have uh, have question. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Just, uh, here is a can. Here's a jian. Right. Here's a one. We we talked about last time. Um, uh, for people, some of modern modern scholars, they say, okay, they don't understand. This is uh, light coming out or heart inside. They say, okay, this is a tattoo. <laughs> they, they, they explain the modern uh, scholar with uh, their understanding of uh, uh, development or, or they, they think it's evolutionary theory. 
based on Darwin's way to this evoluted. So they say, okay, this is a tattoo in front of a chest. Now, if you read more, uh, if you read ordinary scholars' the book, the, the, some of them explain this center thing as tattoo is now. Inside is hard. When you're happy, you, you, if you can see something uh, different dimension, you can see when people are very happy, very glad, the light coming out of here. Just like coming out of here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Wenzi, right? This is a full character. And uh, I think it's a very, she said, uh, keep uh, bumping in this character. Um, uh, it's easier. So it's da, it's big, or large, or huge, or great, or grand, or immense, or boundless, or endless. Time and, time and space wise, while ever is big, can use this character. That's da, D A, da, four, four tone. Originally, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a human open up the two arms. Like a little boy, little girl, when you say, Oh, I see a very big uh, uh, animal, elephant. How big is it? So big. That's, that's a common way kind of called it. It's, not, it's so big. It, it doesn't like that. Yeah, he or she doesn't say that. It's so big, big. That's the big original meaning, very superficial original meaning. And also, the second layer of Da is a balanced, balanced man. Because we said, this is a man, left side, sided. This actually originally is a woman. On the right. This is a woman, this is a man. Uh, I showed you last time, right? If you combine this man and the woman, Together, that's that's here. See, that's da. So what do it mean culturally? No matter you are man or woman, if you are balanced, yin and yang balanced, you are very cool. You are very balanced, and could be an entity of a, of a human being. That's the second layer of a, the original meaning. Just this 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 gesture, right? You are balanced man. You are balanced human being. Okay, you go up in human society, in human level. We're talking about it in, in cultural wise. Um, if you are not uh, not a very good, not a, in a human society, okay, ordinary human society. If you are not a very good person or a very good quality, could be close to balanced. Could be balanced, or or uh, very high quality person. Or go up to a divine being that's a real balanced being. So that's how Da means higher, bigger, right? Okay, that's the meaning of Da, uh, superficial meaning. Uh, one thing I want to explain to you guys, whatever we explain in the class for the character, and the, uh, the characters, Wenzi, uh, the cultural meaning is just a very, very superficial layer or, or a second layer of the meaning. It's, it's a tool, it's tools to help you to understand this language and the culture. You don't need to uh, stick to it because when you learn more, you will understand more. Okay? You, don't need, you don't need to be limited by my explanation. Keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, all I introduced to you is a tool or a, a guideline, a very intro level guideline. When you learn more, you get more later on okay uh, all right now we get into let's uh, move on so the uh, we learn these characters yeah so th this is a uh, assignment for next uh, uh, for this week since I just add the da here so you want to do that too right we learned actually we kind of review it we learned it last time last time last time last time this one have da here. Five characters. This time is a little bit more. Okay, that's the uh, writing and pronunciation. If you feel if you feel too much, you just focus on this. Use this da as a, a bonus and uh, try this because they are t the same thing. And you learn then here the lower part here. So we didn't learn it. That's your so it's hand. Okay, uh, that's this part. Wen zi 
we keep seeing it for quite a month already, right? When we learn when so it's, it's, it's easier. This lower part is actually a little baby, pronounced as mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, a character is just different, uh, different uh, tone. Zi, right? Zi. Uh, the, uh, uh, Jamie, uh, 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 Jack to Jamie is er zi, zi, or uh, Tyrus to Jamie is also zi. But uh, later on, differentiate girl as a new boy as a zi. Mm-hmm. When you have, when you have when you, a family, you have both zi and the new together. That is how it's balanced. It's how it's good. It is beautiful. So. You have yin side and the yang side together. That's how. Okay, this, this is all just heads up or uh, background information. You don't need to remember this. Later on, we'll, we'll get into this character individually. Individually, we learn xin nian hao, zao shang hao. So you have an impression of this hao. Why is hao? Because it's balanced. It's perfectly balanced. So if for one person balanced, it's done, right? Okay, let's move on. We said a Chinese character has three parts, three unity. Uh, picture, the form, pronunciation, the sound, and the tone, and also the inner meaning, right? Uh, we, we get into the uh, uh, pictogram. Uh, now we get into the phonetic, sound implying. Uh, sound implying part, just sound part. Let me show you. Now listen, just uh, ki- uh, be focused, listen to me. I. I you don't know all those characters, but you can feel the meaning. The first, the first one, what is it coming to mind when I say this? It's a big truck or thunder? That's this. So the sound has a meaning. The second one. Ding ding dang dang ding ding dang dang. What that remind you? Ding ding dang dang. Like you have a cup. Ding ding dang dang. Or uh, rain. Yeah, a rain. Yeah, rain bell. Ding ding dang dang. Ding ding dang dang. That's a uh, Christmas the um, uh, Santa. Ding 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 dang dang. Ding ding dang dang. Ding ding dang dang. That's called a pronoun. Ding ding dang dang. Okay. This is choo 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 choo. If you wake up like Jack, you guys wake up very early to do practice. No exercise. You may heard the, the bird chirping. That's the bird chirping. Even you do you don't know this, you hear the uh, the sound. You understand this? What is that? Doggy. That's the pronunciation. And this, ha ha ha! You all know this, right? Ha ha ha! You, 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 it's a big mouth and a big mouth here. Yeah. Ha ha ha! Right? This one, <laughs> crying, <laughs> little baby. <laughs> now, this is the more complicated. Fong, hu hu de chui, hu hu, hu hu. What that reminds you? Just imagine. Hu hu the train, from the wind, wind blow. Hu hu the train. Okay, so I just give a a a, a, a sense, a feeling of all this pronunciation. A lot of uh, character pronunciation has been has connected to the nature of the, uh, the meaning. Okay, uh, you don't need to remember. You just get an idea. Okay, so we call the sound implying or sound mimicking. Ha ha ha! Right? Right? Ding 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 All this thing, okay? All right. Now it's getting more complicated. You, uh, this you know already. I don't want to say it. Uh, these two characters, one means tall, one means short. You just focus on one my, uh, on my pronunciation. I say one. Number one. I number two, Gao. Number one, I number two, Gao. Which one is tall? The, the first one. Number two. 
矮 or 高 is tall. Which one? 高矮高高高 You see, you 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 see my mouse. 高 getting bigger. 矮 that's short. 高矮诶 So the pronunciation itself, the tone itself, has meaning embedded. Okay, I'll give you another one. 高高为高有有 open 呐，矮，那是 short， 高是 tall， 矮 tall guy， 就是高个的 ，OK， and this this two， one is fat， one is thin， skinny， uh， which one is fat？ number one or number two？ pound， that's number one， show， pound， show， which one is fat？ which one is skinny？ which one thin？ Huh? So, number one or number two? Number one. Number one is pang, pang. So, so, right? So the the meaning is in the silent. Okay. Which this this two character? One is slow, one is quick, fast. Slow. Yeah. Which one? One is slow. One is fast. G. This is number one. G. Number two, Huan. Number two, Huan. Which one is fast? G or Huan? Number one. G is fast. Huan is a G. Short. Huan that's slow. Right. It's all connected. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, this one. One is righteous, and one is not right, bad, or even evil. Just two characters. Zhen, that's number one. Zhen, number two. Xie, Zhen, Xie. Which one is righteous? Which one is not righteous? Zhen or Xie? Zhen, Zhen, Xie, Xie. Eh? Go to the other direction now. Yeah. Okay. Ah.、Uh, Let me see which one. I think that that's all. We can we can we stop here. So again, have a three corner meaning, ideographic meaning, pictographic form or picture, or phonetic phonetic sound pronunciation. All has their specific meaning. Put them together. That's how we need to learn pro pronounce it and learn how to write it. Because in writing, there's a meaning it. And pronounce it, say it loud.、Uh, I think、uh, Jing gave him very good um, uh, feedback. Uh, Help me understand American culture or Western culture. You, you, you educate, you grow up out of this, you know, say the single tone and also lower your voice. That's a courtesy. That's a right. That's a right. That's a manner. But、uh, when you learn this language, you want to say it loud. Okay, don't worry. Just say it loud. And you can hear yourself. You can feel the pronunciation, the meaning of pronunciation. You write it. You remind you of the picture. Connect the three things together. Okay. So just do it in your palm or on a, a napkin, piece of paper. You write it on your palm.、Uh, right. Ten seconds. Forget it. Right.、Uh, I keep saying that until you make a new habit to learn it, practice it. Okay.、Uh, okay. We have. Uh, let, let me give you another thing. Now, new 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 concept of 形声 is pictorial, phonetic. 字 Now I use more and more. Not translation, just use the pronunciation. 字 character, right? 形声字 There's a one kind of a character. It's a com combined. One part is is responsible for pronunciation. The other part. All the two parts or three parts together to make、uh, contribute the meaning of the whole ca compound character. That's called the 形声字 or pictorial phonetic 字 You just need to、uh, now just try to、uh, remember. If you don't remember, that's okay. I'm going to repeat it more and more time. You 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 remember. 形声字形 is picture or form. 声 is the sound pronunciation. That kind of 字 Here, let me show you here. You see these three character. Has the same thing. Have water here. See, so they are all related to water, but a different kind of water. What kind of water? This related to here. Let me see if I can.
七十三。Let's sound right. This is another kind of water. You, 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 you listen to this sound different. Listen to the difference. Bigger. And this one. You hear the difference? Yeah. Okay. You look at the cafe. You don't know it, but you know it's something related to water. It has a lot of big noise. <sighs> this one. <sighs> What's one? <laughs> so this is a big river, pronounced as Jiang. This is a regular river, pronounced as He. And this is a bro little brook, pronounced Xi. Yeah, Jiang He Xi Xi. You open the mouth. Open openness is different. So then you connected. The, this is water. Or oh, the the sound is gone. We are getting to that. Don't worry. I'm just giving you this uh, 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 meaning. Uh, explain the meaning of this. Xing sheng zi. The xing here. Xing sheng zi. Give the meaning why it come from. Okay. Ah,、uh, because eighty to eighty five percent of Chinese character. Is xing sheng zi. That's how I said. If you learn the first two hundred to three hundred, all this from thirty six to a hundred eight or hundred ten, very basic thing. When you combine it, you you know from from a form from a form wise, from a form wise, you know the meaning related, and you you can guess it, and you can you can tell how to pronounce it. Combine it. The eighty to eighty-five percent of the xing sheng zi, you're gonna take off to 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 understand Chinese character, and you can pronounce it, right? That makes sense. That makes sense, right? Okay. Can I say Jiang He? Okay. Ah,、uh, from this too, this is actually、uh, a radical of this this part, this this left part. This means gold. Or, or represent all kinds of a metal. So no matter you see this kind of、uh, this part of a radical, you know immediately to know that's some kind of a metal. Okay, so、uh, some kind of metal. This.、Uh, one kind of metal, and this another kind of metal. This is silver. This is a cup.、Uh, Copper, a different metal. At 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 least you know that radical. This this symbolizes metal. This symbolizes water. This symbolizes tree. Right. This symbolizes something related to the earth, or 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 or, or dust. You with me? You guys with me? Okay. Cool. So you have combined. That's called xing sheng zi together. You you will learn very fast. But、uh, now, from the first half year, we're going to build up the, all the fundamental things. Then along the time, I'm going to、uh, introduce more and more xing sheng zi combination, the principle, the way to combine them,、yeah. warming you up, lay the foundation layer by layer. Of when we get to the end the end of this year, you are you are going to approach into a, say three hundred minimum three hundred. Or for some of you running faster, you can get a five hundred, six hundred, or even more. Then the next year, we build up more xing sheng zi, just like we、uh, we we talked about a few times, like uh, uh, you're flying from stop, one step, two step, uh, uh, woo, you get it, okay? Don't worry. So that's how try to practice writing and pronunciation together. Okay, I think that's all for today. Any question? I have a question. Sure.、Um, so the things that rhyme in English would those be the same things that rhyme in Chinese? Like bean and tree rhyme in English? Would those also rhyme in Chinese? Why is the reason? Like boy, toy, tree, bee. Oh, okay. Like, like poetry, <laughs> like poetry, like Hong Yin, Hong Yin, the the、uh, the Chinese rhymes because the yeah, Chinese yeah, words. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the Chinese、yeah. words. Okay. 
Yeah, but not not the English translation. Okay, mm -hmm. got you, got you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, just a bit. Uh, well, I'm, after maybe next two next two session, I'm gonna uh, teach you a, a poem written by a, a scholar in Song Dynasty. This scholar is a very special person, and he wrote a a, a poem. It's called uh, Palm. You know the Palm Blossom that that poet that poetry. Palm blossom. Palm mm -hmm. blossom. It's, oh, yes. it's a it's a, it's written by this uh, uh, this uh, this person. His name is Shao Yong, but he he wrote a, a very interesting poem, just utilized number one to number ten. Mm. It was a beautiful scenery of a, of a mountain little village, the very relaxed, very easy life. This kind of thing. It's it's interesting. I'm gonna uh, share with you that uh, that poem connect all this number together one to ten and and the field when there's a ten and also house and the tree and the flower everything together it's a beautiful scenery uh, later on yeah I mean, in, in in when we teach the poem we will get him the uh, the rhyme the yayun part okay yeah okay then you, tra then you translate it it doesn't sound like anything so. yeah but as we're <laughs> going to get into that we're getting into the original poem the original, yeah. Yeah, then, then share more on different uh, Tang Dynasty, Song Dynasty, and uh, um, Hong Yi. Hong Yi. Uh, yeah, we're going to get into that. Uh, just be a little patient, okay? We're, we're, getting that, we're building up the block, the cornerstones of the characters, and the Ci. Two, two uh, characters together are called the Ci. Ci, Ci, second tone. And... Uh, one sentence is called Qi. We are building up from a character from Wen, Zi, to combine the Zi, then to a sentence Qi. Then we have a par paragraph called a Zhang, then a whole piece called a Pian. You don't need, uh, don't worry if you don't, uh, you, I'm just warming up. Uh, I'm going to repeat it in different locations, you, you will understand. Pian, the whole piece together, uh, the prose. And poem and short, you know, uh, pieces, all of the, uh, the good articles and uh, classics. We're getting to that. Uh, uh, don't worry. So build up this thing first. Uh, okay. Uh, any other question? Um, I was curious. I know characters have the radical, which you've talked about, but I also know they have components. So I think that probably means a different part. That's right. Then how do you determine which part is the radical? Yeah, we, okay, that's the uh, uh, issue of uh, uh, translation. We just uh, use all the components that uh, we just describe all the components as radical, the simple one, or whatever components or radical. To, we, we we use it identically. I think before maybe you learned it before they they, they, they differentiate the radical from the components. Uh, in origin, just one. One means the simplest component or radical or radical. When you dissect it, it doesn't make any sense. So that's called one. In, uh, in, in uh, academic wise, it's called a bu shou. Bu shou. Uh, bu shou. That's um, they translate it as a radical or component because some of the Western uh, scholar, they 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 use utilize, they use a different way of thinking. They dissect the radical the uh, things, dissect it even more to uh, as, as a as a component. Now we don't need to go that, that far. Just the most simple, the simplest character called Wen. This also uh, uh, can translate as a radical. But I just utilize the radical help you understand. So let, uh, maybe from, let, uh, from, from now on, we just use a when, that's simplest form. This is a when, this is a when, this is a when, this is a when. But uh, uh, different uh, uh, scholars that translated it as a rad, uh, component or radical. That, that confused people. We just use a when. So, big, yeah. So, Mr. Hill, yeah. when, to, when to means the character? When means the simplest character. But some of them, we don't use it in writing part. For example, this, just one. 
this original meaning is the Lord. <laughs> Let me give you more, more thing. This is Tian, this is Di, this is Ren, that's a number three, right? A person who understands the principle from the heaven, from the earth, and understand all the principle of the human, a person can understand that holy, the three, three, three level. This means the king. And this part means the Lord. How to say the Lord? Put the Lord here. The king of king, that's the Lord. So this is a, a when, this is a when, this is a when, this is another when. But, uh, but the original meaning of the, if you cannot dissect it, it's the most simple, uh, the simplest way. Uh, see, this when, put this when together, that's compound. It's called zi already. Number three, and you, you understand that all three levels as called Wang King. Does it make, make sense? You want to make it more complicated. King of King, put the, the Lord here. That's the King of King. So that's called, that, the pronounce as Zhu. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Jin? So, like in the example you gave of the ones with Shui, the symbol of water is on the left that's, side of the radical. That's right. Take the river like Jiang. What are those parts on the right side? On right those side? Two? Yeah. That's this, where I'm confused. Okay. This side give a meaning, at least give you a hint. Oh, this is something related to water. This part more, this part contribute more pronunciation. Originally the pronunciation is gong. Now pronounced as gong. Originally, it's a gong. This part gives the a, a, a and G contribute the, uh, to the sound. This part contribute more the meaning. So that's how this two part together called the xing shen. Xing shen. This is a xing. Oh, oh, okay. This is a xing. It's water. It's a form. It's a picture. Give you a picture. This give you. The sound shen. so that's how this character considered as a xing sheng zi. Yeah, xing sheng zi. You guys got? Uh, you guys follow me? Or lost? So the, the radicals are always on the left. Radicals, Ooh. most of them on the left. Like for, let me give you another uh, uh, clean one. So the part of the right is not considered a radical. That just helps with the no, meaning. Could be, could be a radical too. But most of the case, uh, say, um, heart. If we put on the left, the radical is on the left. This means fast, quiet. You can also put it underneath. It means go over. Uh, most of the uh, radicals is on the left. Sometimes it could be on right. For example, uh, the capital. This is the radical. This is this part is the radical. It's on the right, but most of the time it's on the left. And on the left means on me left. An ancient uh, connotation. Left is more usually usually maybe eighty percent. Okay, is superior to the right. So put on the, if you see the thing on the left, so that that's related to the emotion, to the heart, to the spiritual part. This everything related to water, right? This everything related to metal, leading the main, making the main sense. Underneath, so that means this radical, this could be considered a radical of this whole character too, is is follow the meaning of this. This is more superior. This part is superior. But if on the left, this is superior. Okay. We'll get into that more. Okay. Um, we'll get into that more and more. Uh, we need to build up more Chinese character. Then we get to the meaning la layer. It's e easier. You guys are running fast. Very fast. Okay. All right. So far, so good. 
yeah, we get into that more. So if you get you know, take a piece of it, piece of it, piece of it, that's fine. Mm, okay, go back to the assignment today. 看见文字 plus plus 大 right? Yeah, if you are,、uh, you have a, a previous experience, you have learned something, you can try this how to right how. If you do how, you can you can do girl or daughter, 子 son, a boy. If you have time, you can do this. If you don't, just、uh, focus on this four, or plus this one. That would be good enough. I think、uh, yeah, the computer reminding me we have two minutes. Okay, so two minutes. Do you have a question? Or we can stop it, or, or yeah, we we still have two、uh, two minutes for question. If you, yeah, reminder. More question, or you can send me the question、uh, by email or、uh, in your assignment, writing it, or by、uh, recording, saying it. Or if you don't have time, don't write it. Just oh no, this is my assignment.、Uh, I have a question about this, and about say it, say it. Try to say it a little bit slower. Uh, my English is not that good. Then I get you and re reply your with a voice message or, or write to you. Okay, that might help. All right. Okay. Uh, 再见，谢谢大家。谢谢。谢谢大家，再见。谢谢。谢谢。再见，卢斯。再见。Right.